Good evening, everybody. This is NCP. I need to make a, uh, a non-sync cable or a, uh, <coughs> excuse me, or a uh, data condom or USB condom, as they call it. Basically, we're going to take uh, some male and female uh, uh, USB ports, and we're going to solder them together. And basically, we're not going to allow the data pins to go. Now, just so we're clear here, I'll have to check. One of these is hot, one of these is, I mean, one of these is uh, positive and negative. And these two are data, uh, D1, or D plus, and D2, or D, uh, bleh. sorry, my mind. <laughs> data plus, data negative. These two. So we're going to remove these from the, the host side. So when I go to the airport or I, uh, just basically hook up to any any unknown or untrusted power source <clears throat> you can't do power jacking which is where they sync with your phone or they uh well basically you can load a virus or access your data it's like plugging into an unknown computer you don't want to do that so we're just basically going to put two of them together it'll pretty much be like this just like this put together Just like that. Only oh, there'll be no cent. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> it'll be just like this. Only with no center pins. And I'll wrap it in tape, and we're good to go. So that's all we got to do. Just link them up, just like that. And then I don't know. I'll see if I can solder the side there. I don't think I can solder the other side, but it'll be good. I can put some heat shrink tube in there, I guess. Like I said, this is just for uh, getting through the airports and any other places I don't trust. And then I can plug the regular cable into here. In fact, I may just take a pair of pliers and yank these cables out. And, uh, you know, be done with it. But, on one hand, you can take and you short these two pins. Where's my camera? There we go. We short these two pins here. And that will allow it to think that it's, it's connected to the system and that'll give you a hot charge <clears throat> or the full full power but I don't know you know you can do that but I may just do it I might not I'll probably short them heck with it <laughs> but basically you make sure the two center pins do not have conductivity between between the two you don't want them to sync and transfer data, so you only want the the pin one, the pin four, or one and four, whatever it is. The red and the black. Now you could just easily take a cable and slice the cable gently and pull out the uh, red and black and leave them. And the other two, I think, is green and yellow, maybe I forget. <clears throat> and you know, it's no assurance anyway. But and you snip those two, and it's just good. Or you can just go and you can buy these. For about, I think about 10 bucks or two. I don't think I've seen just one, but they're pretty cheap. Um, you know, or you can buy just a regular charging, charge only cable for, <clears throat> I don't know, two dollars, whatever on Amazon. I don't know. But let me heat this up and let me go ahead and just solder these together. Then we'll take it upstairs and see if I can sync or not sync with it. You know. All right, I'll be right back. Let me just. Heat up the solder iron. All right, firing is up to temperature. Make sure we're in view here. So we can pry these up a little bit, the two center ones, and I'll go ahead and short them. This is where I stab myself. Watch. I think things are sharp. Yeah, just raise them up a bit. The two. And I'll go up like that. We're going to solder them together, or short them. And then we're going to clip the lead off as much as I can. Just like that. So, I'll get some helping hands over here. There 
we go. Shorted. No big deal. Simple. Now, as far as <coughs> this side goes, we'll just pull them out, man. Shank them out with a pair of pliers. Ends. I can guarantee you my hillbilly connector <laughs> will not sink. So let me go ahead and put this thing in the, uh, the helping hands here, and I'll be right back. All right. So we don't want to make sure we we want to make sure we don't got it backwards. So put them put them together. You'd think they'd both be the same way, but no, you gotta have one flipped over. So put them together. Because that's how it'll go. And you're going to go straight across with the power current. So that's just the easy way to keep it. You know, so you don't plug your device in backwards. And then just slide it on over. And you know. See? See how easy that was? Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm going to put in the helping hands. And let me solder it up. Move it back. So we're just going to tack those two things together. I'm going to probably just wrap this with tape. Electrical tape. Well, we'll see. We'll see here. Let's go here. That'll work just fine. What if we could solder it down on the sides here? Yeah, that's 500 degrees. Let me check something here. Alright, so let's go ahead and put a little stability on there. Um, just going to solder that side joint right there. The two units together. Let it flow, let it flow. Oh yeah, there, that's a crappy weld. I'll clean that up a bit. A lot. It looks bad when it's so magnified in. Uh... There we go. That's fine. I guess I can clean that. Wow. That really transfers heat well. Yeah, ow. <laughs> Alright. Let's clean the soldering iron up, and that's pretty much it. Um, we'll go down and, uh, um, whatchamacallit, we'll test it. I don't know, we'll plug in, I guess, a wife zone or something. Let's see if that goes. And that's pretty much it. So let me, um, let that cool. I'll just wrap it in tape so you can't see the horrors I've done. Like I said, you can't believe I do this for a living, huh? <laughs> so. That's really hot. So, I'll be back after I put some electrical tape on it to uh, make it more rigid. And, uh, you know, cover up a little bit. Okay. There it is. Um, seal it up. It's good enough. Like I said, it's only going to last just one trip anyway, but... Still, hey, you know, let's keep it forever. Heck with it. They're, they're cheap enough to make. These are for Android devices. Now, if you have an iPhone, you got to put a resistor in there. Um, I don't know the, the specs, but I can do the math, I guess. But you got to run a tap it to the D1 or D positive and D negative lines. You need like 2.7 volts on those lines. Um, but this will let full power flow right now. Uh, it's not connected on the center leads. And actually, there isn't center leads on part of it here. Let me zoom in here. You can see I pulled the two leads out in the middle on that side. But this side is still there, but it doesn't matter. They're shorted on this side. This side will go into the host. And then you plug your cord into this side here. So you just put this in there, and you can use any cord now. This way I don't have to have USB-C or USB-A or any of that stuff. Just a regular USB goes in here. 
So let's go upstairs and let's check for sink, shall we? I'll be right back. Okay, so it's plugged in my dirty computer. This I got a tablet over here. And um it's just charging. It is charging. But it's not sinking. Okay? So let's pull it out and see if the computer won't make the sink sound. Let's see here. Anything? There we go. You hear that? Now it's synced. Now it's no sink. So there's no sink going through. But we're still good. So it was a real simple thing to do. You can't data jack me now. <clears throat> you can't install stuff. This is an old tablet. Um, this is a... Um, what is this? Hey. What is this? I don't know. I don't know either. Oh, HP something. Yeah, I know that. HP Touch Tablet, which I put Android on instead of their uh, HP stuff. What? Huh? What is it? It's not anymore. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> it's very old. <clears throat> These were same specs, I think, as the first iPad. And they're about $700. And then HP said, no, nah, you don't want to do it. Quit. And they went on sale for, was it 119 Hundred nineteen back in the day, so <laughs> they said they didn't have any. My wife jumped the counter and went into the back room and grabbed one. And said, "Yeah, you do." They're <laughs> saving it for their friends. Remember that? Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Anyway, so I'll get that tablet for you. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm getting giddy. Real simple. Real simple, and it will protect my data and everything. So, you know. You don't want them to data jack you. This is a USB condom, a USB sync stop, or whatever. It, there's no data going to go through this. It's just charge only. So when I'm at the airport or a public Wi-Fi or anything like that, <coughs> um, yeah, it's all good. All right, guys, NCP, you guys have a great one. I have got to go. Um, I'm running far behind on things, and... <coughs>